Welcome on back to the Double RT Boxing Show, the Ready Ready Talk Boxing Show. I'm your host, Mr. A. Studio has its lights down low because my eyes hurt. So now we are talking about a fight which I thought was the fight of the week, but it was not the surprise of the week, and that's for sure. Now this, like I said, this fight was coming in. As uh, the WRT's fight of the week, obviously, Rosario was the surprise of the week. Now, the fight was a once, it was, to me, it was one sided, but it did not go down exactly how I thought. Not exactly, of course, it's not exactly, but I thought um, Colbert would uh, use a jab more or something. I, I didn't expect him to have to uh, make it an inside. I, th- I you know, I, I, I just didn't think he was going to have to do all his damage from the inside like that. Now, what was, was it more of a Jazzera Corrales playing the very outside limitation of um, distance game, you know, judging it, topping in and out? Or was it Colbert not using his jab, creating it, keeping Jazzera on the end of something? Because the inside, it was a, it was a nice performance of the inside when he decided to, you know, let go, which is very late in the contest, which is when the knockdown came the tenth round. Beautiful, nice little, nice little hook. Now, I what I like I said, it was a kind of a slow, not ugly, but. Wasn't much offense in there, you know. There's a lot of holding. At one point, uh, I forgot who it was. I think it was uh, Goosen. Every time they were getting inside, Jazzero did kind of throw the arm over the head of um, Colbert, so kind of like the headlock. So it was a lot of, a lot of a uh, holding, stalling action. And that right there kind of surprised me. I thought Colbert, you know. The way his persona is, the way he acts, you know, um, I thought more he'd be a very, a more of a, a violent, violent towel, if you could say, uh, if that's a word, uh, inside fighter. He seemed to be kind of timid, allowed himself to get held up a, a lot, um, and then like he he didn't seem to create the fights out. He kind of made the ref tell him fight out. And then when, when the, then towards the end he was like trying to trying to turn it on trying to be that I uh, control the brakes and that's when he got the knockout controlling the own brakes so I was kind of a little thrown off. Like I said, I'm only saying this because I like him, you know. I'm trying to be positive, positive critiquing him. Um, so I was a little, I was a little thrown off on that, but as far as a WBA intern, like I said. It's the fight. I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was really gonna school Jazzarell uh, Corrales. I, I thought it was gonna be really just keep him on the inside, pop, 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 pick him apart, then start working uh, up and down on him. But uh, I do give um, Corrales a, a little, uh, not a little bit. But I give him credit. He he played that distance game good. He stayed right. Right within, it was far enough to keep Colbert confused, but attack. And like I said, I, I, going into the concept, I I thought he would be the one to. If anyone's to, you gotta be worried of a one punch from somebody. It'd be Corrales over Colbert. Is what I f- uh, thought in the fight. Now they're saying Colbert's growing into his uh his uh, man strength or learning how to fight, throw that strength punch. You know. Which is the same thing Clarissa Shields is saying. Same thing um, Shakur Stevenson is saying. Ryan Garcia. All those young Haney. All, all those young fighters. Um, Tia Fimo. They're, they're all starting to say that right now. I'm learning how to throw the punches. You know. The, if you notice that in interviews and stuff. All these young core are starting to say. They're learning how to throw stronger. So. Um, in a dominant performance that was slow and weird to the, until he start controlling the brakes on himself. Um, Colbert knocked down Corrales. 
and fucking um, captures the WBA intern, super featherweight. Again, what is going to happen with Leo then? Rene Alvarado being the regular, you'll figure that's where they're going to try and get Chris Colbert, I believe. They're going to try and save Leo for uh, Tank and try and get Colbert the regular shot. If I was a betting businessman, I think that's what PBC would try and do. Really try and get a grasp. You know, so that way, if fuck, if Leo Santa Cruz and Colbert could be a good fight, or imagine if it is Tank and Colbert, that'd be a nice little. Uh, eventually. They got to start, they got to start putting some of these uh, young names in, if not that high a fight, but into some some fights. Because Colbert, Colbert, believe it or not, the motherfuckers rank pretty damn high. God damn. Number three, like, he should be fighting uh, Andrew Concinco, Billy Dip, Anthony Kakai. You know, why not beat Anthony? Anthony's been fucking on a nice little okay, but he, he's been losing him. Joe Gordina, that'd be interesting. That'd be very interesting. Damn, I would love to see Joe Gordina and fucking Chris Colbert. Make it happen. This is the Double RT Boxing Show. I'm your host, Mr. A. What do you think? Joe Gordina and Chris Colbert. Why the fuck not? Just leave it in the comment section. What do you think? Thank you for your time and support.